Hi, this is Dr. Nick with the ECG Academy, and this video talks about timing, amplitude, and rate measurements of the normal ECG. This is chapter two in section six, and we're gonna basically get into these little tiny boxes and what they mean. Well, this is an ECG, a normal one from an 18 year old. It's about as normal as it gets, but let's look at a high resolution scan of this cardiogram. All right, now on this scan, you can see that there are there is this grid here. There are these heavy lines moving across, heavy lines moving up and down, and they create this uh, squ these squares, large squares. But within each large square, there are these small squares. The ECG is based on the metric system. So one small square is one millimeter high and one millimeter wide. Remember, there's about 25 millimeters in an inch, just so you uh, guys have some reference here. And so you have these one millimeter boxes. Now the ECG machine that's printing out a standard size ECG will use this measurement. That's 10 millimeters per millivolt. Remember that milli in the metric system means one thousandth. So one of these is a millimeter, which is a thousandth of a meter. And it says 10 millimeters per millivolt. So if you count up 10 of these, that's two large boxes because each large box is five. So you have 10 millimeters here and that's equal to one millivolt. Remember, that's one thousandth of a volt. It's a very small number, isn't it? But of course, we're measuring the heart's electrical activity through the skin and the bones and the muscles, so um, we're only seeing a little tiny electrical signal. Um, if we actually measure this, all right, if, so this is a QRS complex. Remember, this is a P wave, and here's the QRS complex. And this one lands on the baseline, so let's measure one, two, three and a half little boxes. Well, what's a little box? If 10 little boxes is equal to one millivolt, then one little box is equal to 0 0.1 millivolts or one tenth of a millivolt. Multiply that times here, three and a half, and you get 0 0.35 millivolts. That's a really tiny QRS complex, isn't it? All right, so that's how high they are. Now, how do we know? Do we have to look for this number? Well, you can actually see this thing. It's called a standardization pulse or a calibration pulse. And it happens to be 10 small boxes high. That tells us that the ECG machine is putting out a standard size. If you needed to have a larger tracing, let's just say if the signals are really small and you wanted to see more detail, you, you can push a button or turn a, a knob on the ECG machine and increase it to 20 millimeters per millivolt. The standardization pulse will then look this big and the ECG will be twice as large as it otherwise would look. So uh, that's how you can tell what your standardization is. You can look at this calibration pulse here or you can look at your standard here. The other thing you need to know about is timing. If it's running the paper at the standard speed, then this should be two small boxes wide. On the paper, if you look down at the bottom someplace, there'll be something that says this, 25 millimeters per second. Well, that tells us how fast the paper is running. So remember, 25 millimeters is 25 small boxes, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So from here to here is one second. So we can split this up and we can say, okay, well, if that's one second, then one large box is one fifth of a second, isn't it? Because there's five of them in a second. And if you uh, drill down and look at one of these tiny little boxes, it's one twenty-fifth of a second. Well, to tell you the truth, most people don't really like to use fractions. And it's, I think decimals are much easier to understand. But what's even easier to understand are milliseconds. Well, especially electrophysiologists who deal with ECGs all the time, they deal in milliseconds because it, it tends to be a little bit easier. The numbers, are, they're whole numbers, they're not fractions or decimals. Well, what's a millisecond? Since one second is made up of 1,000 milliseconds, after all, milli means a thousandth, doesn't it? So that one millisecond is equal to one thousandth of a second. All right, that makes sense. So that means if there are 1,000 milliseconds in 25 boxes, if we divide 1,000 by 25, that gives you 40 milliseconds. So that means that one of these little boxes is 40 milliseconds wide. And a big box 
is five little boxes, so that's 200 milliseconds wide. That becomes very important in the next chapter because we're going to be making measurements of all these little waves and everything. But for the time being, let's stick with the big picture. Because in reality, the first concept you have to think about is rate. How fast is the heart rate? Well, that's precisely the topic of the next video. So go watch it, will ya? This is Dr. Nick from the ECG Academy, signing off.